right, just to bring you all up to date, the Apollo 16 astronauts riding their Saturn V rocket uh, and their spacecraft on top of it left here at Cape Kennedy about a half an hour ago. They are now parked in an orbit about 90 to 91 to 96 miles uh, above the Earth, an almost perfect parking orbit. They're circling around the Earth now, probably at this moment somewhere near the east coast of Africa, heading out over the Indian Ocean. They'll make two revolutions around the Earth today, and on the second one, when they're over Australia, they will fire another engine, and they will head for the moon. And so it's been a very good day here for all of the people who have been involved, and there really are hundreds of thousands of them that have been involved here. The participation, for example, of more than 30,000 companies were involved in the Apollo 16 air, spacecraft and launch vehicle, and that's prime contractors, subcontractors, sub-subcontractors, and for all we know, sub-sub-subcontractors. Before launch day, it seemed to us that all of the public relations efforts of all of those 30,000 companies were concentrated here. They all have something to say. And we sent a friend of ours over to stroll through the Contractors Information Center, a piece of Americana worth looking at, and that will get you more press kits, releases, pictures, and fact sheets than you can carry, much less read. This is all we could carry. There are colorful and very expensive brochures that you can look at, uh, impressive brochures and some sort of ho-hum brochures. There are fact-filled for example, here are facts on the Avco ablative heat shield for Apollo. Gripping reading for anybody who's interested in ablative heat shields. Uh, there are souvenirs. Now, this one is a souvenir. It's a sun hat, which I think they would like me to put on, but I don't think I will. We have bumper stickers. Uh, America needs space to grow. You can put that on your car. Here is one in the design to look like a license plate for a lunar rover. We got that as well. There are lots of pictures, something for everyone, everything from people who like to look at rockets to like to look at cryogenic gas tanks. Can you make out that cryogenic gas tanks? And finally, in this essay on all of these papers, here, in the immemorial and traditional way of press agents everywhere, is a picture of the sub-satellite to be released by the Apollo 16 spacecraft. We offer that for all sub-satellite fans. And uh, that really brings us up to about the end of the coverage so far, as far as Apollo 16 is concerned. The men are safe. They are happy. The last we heard from John Young was that he was saying, it's just fantastic up here. You wouldn't believe it. This thing, he said, referring to the whole spacecraft, works like a gem. So they're having a fine time up in space. They will be doing other things later today. At 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time today, we will have more television pictures from space. They will be involved in the maneuver which Garrick Utley explained to you a few minutes ago called transposition and docking. And at 4 o'clock this afternoon, we'll be back with pictures, hopefully, of that. Pictures from the Apollo 16 mission out in space. Uh, and that brings us just about to the end of this coverage. We will be having much more during the week to come, including all those things on the moon. John Chancellor, NBC News, Cape Kennedy.